Okay, my wonderful friends, this is exciting research about collagen structure and stability. This is, of course, by the U.S. National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health. So this is highly regarded, you know, scientific published research. So uh, this should not be blocked. This is just, I'm not recommending anybody do anything. But we're, we're talking about how collagen works in the body. I'm not going to go through all the details, but collagen is the fibers. And they make up like these bundles of fibers and they can stretch and they can pull and they, they have all kind of different very complex processes that they do. Now, invertebrates, you got collagen 1 through, I think it's 26 or 28. Hold on, let me come down here. Uh, yeah, 26. No, 28. 28. It keeps growing because they keep finding more and more different fiber classes. You see this? Well, not even classes. They're, they're types. So the class is fibrillar, which is fibers. And the composition is, um, this is, you have to look this stuff up. Now, the distribution, where is it? In the dermis and the bone. The dermis is the skin, the bone, tendon, ligament. The one and three is huge. Skin, bone, vessels, intestines. One and three is a big one. But then you have two is cartilage vitreous it's in those areas now five has shown to be very important as well which we need to look into five is also fibrillar widespread bone dermis cornea placenta now how these things intersect with each other's makes a huge difference in the way scars form so we're going to look at that next all right, here's the key to whether you have a successful repair to your heart or you end up like this. This gives you, your heart can still do this. This is all disorganized, and the reason is it's missing collagen number five. And that is the whole thing, how the body regulates scar tissue after growth, after heart attacks. A single protein, a single protein may determine how much scar tissue scarring occurs. Now. This says that a healthy scar containing collagen 5, with, this is this one, with scar fibers smoothly arranged, so it can still do that. Now, in parallel, and the right one on the, on the right, an unhealthy scar, which no collagen 5. That's the key. There's no collagen type 5. So it's trying to squeeze and it's doing all this stuff instead of nice and that because of the disorganized architecture, the disarray of the fibers. Now, this is just from, a, a, I don't know, a few days ago. Now, once formed, heart scar tissue remains for life. So if you get the wrong kind of scar, you're screwed. So uh, it reduces the ability to pump blood. Therefore, it puts more and more and more strain on everything in your body, not, not just your heart. Now, I am proposing, see, here, this is, first of all, let's go through the collagens. Vertebra collagens, these are the different fibers that are in you. And see these network fibers, anchoring fibrils, um, multiplexins, uh, all kinds of different classes of these fibers. But the most, the most fibers you have in your body is one and three. And they make up your all kinds of stuff. Abundant, widespread dermis, which is skin, bone, tendon, ligament, cartilage, vitreous. And number three is skin, blood vessels, intestines, all kinds of organ things like that. And then and this is number four is basement layers and membranes, which is very cool. Those are very interesting. But number five, I never really paid much attention to, but it is widespread bone dermis cornea placenta. Now, why, I never, it never seemed to play a part in anything, but now all of a sudden they found out, if you're missing that five, you're in trouble. That's when you're going to get a problem with the scarring not organizing correctly. Okay, now, again, research, not guesses, research. This is by the Medical University of Vienna, and this is about COVID-19 causes pulmonary arterial thrombosis and damages other organs as well as the lungs. It's damaging the collagen, and that collagen is in all of these different 
areas. Now, uh, let's just cut to the chase here. According to Sigurd Lacks, professor of pathology at the jo Johannes Kepler University, Linz, and director of the Department of Pathology of the hospital Graz II, an academic teaching hospital at Medical University of Graz. COVID-19, not purely a respiratory disease affecting the lungs. Now, let me just stop right there for a second. Originally, they were intubating all of these because the, the lungs were just failing. They stopped having that spongy effect. They went, uh, 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 and they couldn't they, they die from no not being like this and they were they were finding fluids and gooey substances all kinds of things but they didn't want to do any autopsies i guess in the beginning anyway these guys ended up doing 11 autopsies 12 or so, i think maybe anyway um it's not, they found out it's not purely in the lungs but most people die of the lungs or they died of blood clots and they were attributing it to lung thrombosis and breaking the blood vessels and, you know, because their lungs are just flush with blood, obviously. Now, uh, he conducted autopsies on patients who had died from COVID-19 and together with his pathology team and colleagues from the Department of Internal Medicine and Anesthesiology of Hospital Graz II, microbiologists from the Medi Uni Graz and Michael Trauner from Medi Uni Vienna's Department of Medicine III, sounds like they had a lot of people on this case, analyzed the results of the first 11 cases. So they did autopsies on these and they analyzed the results. What did they find out? He says, our investigation showed that although the disease started with lung damage, and we all know that, you know, you get it in your back of your throat and so forth, and once it invades and it can't be fought back by your body, you're in trouble. Uh, it starts to damage very quickly. This was usually followed by thrombosis in the pulmonary arteries. That's your lungs, and thrombosis is just breaking the blood vessels, basically. Uh, themselves and damage to other organs in those fatal cases. So basically what it meant is as soon as this bacteria started to invade these specific tissue types, which are that collagen stuff, something in that collagen was being damaged to make it not rubbery anymore, that type of thing. And once it happens, if you can't fight back against it, you have no chemistry to shoot back to kill those bacteria or to somehow replace the chemistry that they have destroyed, then you're, you're going to collapse quickly. And it appears that it was all on these something that must be like rubbery and your pulmonary arteries, they have the same thing. They're doing this every time you, your blood goes. Even though you don't think it's, it's like a tube never does anything, of course it does. Poof, poof, poof. It's not just your heart. So all of these things are being destroyed because of their collagen. That is my take on it now. And I believe that is also their take on it. Again, research, I'm not saying do anything, don't do anything. We're looking for answers. Heart attack has the same situation. You got that same thing going on. I showed you the heart tissue being damaged. Now, I think we have to look at what the bacterial issues are in the bodies of all of these different people and what specific ones have one might be completely missing a bacteria or a whole class of bacteria and and they just they're going to die case closed and everybody else they're all set they've had that bacteria they're just going to go home and have a nice day but we don't know this because that research is not being done it is not yet clear whether the disease causes long-term damage they're not they're not really looking at this strongly enough in my opinion and that's an opinion but i am a researcher and that's what i do is research i'm not i don't do guessing and i'm not this is not something that should be pushed aside and said don't talk about this because you're not qualified well i'm as qualified to talk about as anybody else all right now once again the uh National Institute of Health, and this is how bacteria in your body keeps proteins moving. And this, inside the cytoplasm of a bacterial cell, it's densely packed with all kinds of things, proteins. Proteins are macromolecules, huge molecules that are 
But then it says, normally you'd think they would all clump together. It says, however, despite being congested with macromolecules, the cytoplasm remains surprisingly fluid. And that is because of the bacteria. The bacteria keeps the proteins moving. And the bacteria creates the enzymes, which are the proteins. All right, you really got to get up to my channel and look at latest junk DNA studies. And this shows that there is no junk DNA. These places they call junk DNA are where programs are stored that know how to deal with invasive molecules. Now, these programs are created by, they create enzymes. That's what happens when these programs are stored in there. They are chemistry set programs that say, if I see a certain chemical come in here, I need to create this particular chemical to react to it, to break it, because it's, it, otherwise it will attach, cause inflammation, inflammation causes fibrosis, fibrosis causes scar tissue, scar tissue causes inflammation, and all of the different destructive things that happen, and then if you don't have the right collagens, you don't get it repaired right, and then you die. So this is very, very important to understand these different collagens and so forth. And here's the part where it's the most important to see, is where the actual construction of the enzymes happens. Now, this is inside of, bacteria, um, of uh, white blood cells. And there's all kinds of different ones of white blood cells. Some control and kill invaders, some break down carbohydrates, some break down fats, but what they do is their chemistry sets. And inside here in a second we're going to see all different little colored spots, and all those colored spots are bacteria. And those bacteria create these programs. That's just the way God made them. I didn't, I can't get past that. The bacteria know how to make the chemistry sets that make our lives work. So in a second, you see it's the factory where it's it's doing its work and this is the cell membrane around it and once it gets its its enzyme made and it does it just like that it squirts it out and does its job and if you don't have the bacteria you're in trouble here goes okay now watch this is one being created that fast this is real time these are different bacteria that are residing here waiting to be called on to create a certain enzyme and they could all be totally different bacteria and each one of them can create its own enzyme because this, the body is so unbelievably complex with chemistry they have no clue and that is happening like just Unbelievable, and they say this can take hundreds of years if it wasn't for the bacteria. Now, I'm just I'm going to just run through it because I tend to be a little long here. Goes. Yeah. See, here we go. You see that right there? That's a bacteria just made that. And a bacteria just made a, made an enzyme. It's going to squirt out here. And it, do it does it so it's fast. It's unbelievable. Now, all of these things are different types of bacteria, and the vagus nerve sends down and says to this particular type of bacteria to create a bunch of enzymes and squirt them out. Now this may happen to every cell in your body that is this type of cell, which might be a a, a cell that is a, attacks invaders, and this particular one is called on because it breaks up the zinc molecule that this invader is. Is its weak spot. Almost every every chemistry, uh, every bit of chemistry, which is biology. Bio biology is chemistry. That's all it is, and it, it can be attacked or it can be stabilized. Simple as that. This whatever bacteria, I mean, uh, whatever this virus is, this COVID, is creating some type of an enzyme that is attacking the, the tissue collagens that are in the lungs, the ones that give it the movement like that, and they destroy them, and they're making them sort of uh, 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 and then they have to intubate them, they have to force air into them. And it's also, the, you, your blood vessels do the same thing, they constrict, they open up, and they say it hurt, does it all to the heart, the heart is nothing but a pumper. And all of the tissues in your body have to do this kind of stuff. And it says it attacks every bit of your body now they're found in out. I found out. And I will show you, that I, if, or if I haven't already, uh, I think it's University of Geneva. 
um, they released the recent autopsy results of what they did find. And it's exactly what I'm, well, it's, it's what they say. Let's go with that. All right, so here's, they're going to create another enzyme and squirt it out. Watch this. This is fascinating. Where we can Look actually see immune done. cells scooping watch, up watch sugars. This. All of a sudden, you're going to see a cell go, and, and this is real time. This is actually how fast this is happening. And you're going to see it make a very specific molecule, and out it goes. Watch. Watch. See that? Look at see that. how fast it did that? And out it goes. Real time. Boom. Folks. Real time. Okay, this collagen 5 conversion, they talk about a single protein could be missing. Well, what are proteins? They're enzymes. Now, we have a whole section where we tell you about reactions and the molecules that change in these reactions. Reactions means certain chemistry is, is breaking down and changing itself into some other type of chemistry. Chemical bonds, which these different things that bond together, they're being broken and, and it created and destroyed over a series of many intermediate reactions. That's what these catalysts do. Those changes rarely happen on their own. They're just not going to do that unless you throw in this chemistry, which is the enzyme, which is from the bacteria, which is called a catalyst. When you look at biological systems, it just doesn't happen until you throw in what the bacteria is doing. And the bacteria isn't being told what to do because of the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is being told to send those signals back and forth from the brain to the different organs in your body to create these different tox these different chemical cocktails. Now, will a blob of protein in a Petri dish simply, br simply break down into amino acids? No, it will not. They don't just do that by themselves. To break a protein down into its amino acids, you need enzymes. Enzymes come from the bacteria that create these products. The enzymes are biological molecules, biological. They act as catalysts, and they help com complex reactions occur everywhere in life. Right? Let's, let's say you ate a piece of meat, proteases would go to work and help break down the peptide bonds between amino acids. Will all amino, will all enzymes break down all substances? No, absolutely not. Enzymes are very, very specific catalysts and usually work to complete one task. One task. They're going to make some specific molecule or they're going to break some specific sequence that will allow other chemistry to come in and rearrange it or do whatever it needs to be done to create collagen 5. We're missing collagen 5. I say, in my way of thinking, we need to start looking deeply at the bacteria in the guts of all of the different people and how severely they're being invaded, what bacteria is either excessive or missing. In my world, that is going to be the solution to this problem. But we have to start looking at it very, very hard. And it's, they're, they're going just the opposite direction, thinking they can shoot you up with something that will just act as a vaccine. I would say let your body create enzymes, and they will they'll kill that stuff. But not, most people aren't getting sick from this. It's the ones that are missing the enzymes. It's as simple as that. Enzymes are there missing because the bacteria is not there. The bacteria is not there because they probably gave, gave them antibiotics. All right? Roger, over and out.